got bait. We're back to find out which is better for flounder fishing in coastal bays, bait or lures. Max and David chose to fish with minnows, but John and Lenny are fishing with lures. So far, the bait team is ahead with two fish, while the lures team hasn't caught any fish yet. But before we get back to our contest, let's have the answer to last segment's fishing quiz. When a flounder first bites a drifted bait, should you set the hook A, immediately, when you feel the first bite, B, when you feel a heavy thump, 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 C, five seconds after feeling the first bite, or D, 10 seconds after feeling the first bite? The answer is B, when you feel a heavy thump, thump, thump. That means the flounder has your bait all the way in its mouth and it's trying to swim away. Dude, really? Gosh, gosh. <laughs> there, fish like that. Oh, fish on! Hey! Fish on! Look at that! Four foot of water up here in the shallows. Hey, All, right. All right, Len, might be a keeper. What's wrong? Hey, keeper! Catching a fish earns one point, but keepers get two. Two to two! And now the score is tied. Now this fish is a keeper, but I am not going to put him in the fish box. I'm putting him in the live well, because I plan on getting a bigger one and letting this guy go. Hey, you guys, I got an idea. Let's make this a little more interesting. Since it's still a tie right now, what do you say whoever wins, Team Lures or Team Baits, gets to sit back and watch while the losing team gets to wash the boat? All right. Go for Deal. that. Okay. Deal. I'm confident. I'm good. No, come on, we got this, Dave. So you can see, we all fish a little bit different. John's style of jigging is a little bit more mellow than mine. I like to give it more action. If you watch Max, you'll see that he gives a little bit of action to his bait with his rod tip. And if you watch Dave, he's just letting that bait sort of slide right along the bottom. That's one of the beautiful things about fishing. There's no right or wrong. There are just different ways of doing it. Sometimes one way works better than another. Dave's style is ideal for the napping angler. Max's style is perfect for the kid who thinks he's gonna outfish his dad. My style, of course, is the best way to fish, and John's is just plain wrong. Oh, go. Oh, my God. All right. I don't think it's a keeper. Oh, no, he's long and skinny. But it's caught on an artificial. That's right. We're ahead. We're ahead. That's not fair, because you said that we Lord's rule. 15, and it's like 7 eighths. All right, buddy. See you next year. Ooh. All right, Land. Uh, oh. That's the typical size fish you catch, isn't it? Uh. Well, it's still worth a point. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You snagged him. Bye, buddy. Ooh. When you hook up a fish, it can tell you a lot about where you need to position your next few drifts in order to catch more fish. What's the most important factor to take note of the moment you get a fish on the line? A, water depth. B, water clarity, C, strength of the current, or D, speed of your drift. Sorry folks, we're out of time again. To find out which factor is most important and find out whether bait or lures will prove to be the best flounder catchers, watch the next segment of Got 